Welcome back to Let's Play Go Go Nippon. On a random note, when I upload this, it'll be my birthday. Just thought I'd say that. No real reason to really, I mean. With me and birthdays and stuff like that, I'm just like, eh. So what? Uh, it's my birthday. What What else is it to? And the ironic thing about all that is, like, you know, being at my birthday, like, being the 1st of December of all things, and the fact that over the past few years, my least favorite time of year is, like, from late November to, say, about mid-January, I think, so it's just like, oh, around my least favorite time of year as well. Uh. One thing that really annoys me on my birthday is just like when everyone's just like Happy Birthday to you! It's just like, ah, oh, that song. Why do you have to sing that song? A simple Happy Birthday will do. Why do you have to be like Happy Birthday to you! Happy- Shut up! Anyways, we're gonna have some, uh, Japanese restaurant food stuff. I think. Was that what we were supposed to be doing here? There are a lot of things I want to eat. But most of those I can get in Japanese restaurants back in my country. Really now, I, I, in where I am, I've never seen a Japanese restaurant before. What does Japanese food taste like anyway? I have no idea. I mean, we have like a Chinese here in this village, you know, Chinese kind of thing. It's not a restaurant per se, it's like a kind of you go in, you say what you want, and they'll just be like, okay, whatever. Or they have my dad do the delivering, because he's like the delivery man that works for them, because no one else would work for that guy, because he's a complete asshat. Seriously, he's like the worst boss ever. I don't know how my dad has put up with him for all these years. Heck, he was actually fired uh, quite a while back, but then he was rehired like two days later, and just like, Oh, you got this new guy to work for you, but I bet right after just one day, he's just like, oh, fuck this job. You're the worst boss ever. He's just like, ah, oh, shit, I made a mistake. Okay, I'm rehiring you. Anyways, and when I think about it, I get a, f a feeling that the dinner Acura makes is closer to what Japanese people actually eat every day. That's it. That's what I want. What is it? Did you decide what you want to eat? Yeah, I want to eat that. What's that? Are you serious? Serious? You give me three choices, it's like pizza, Japanese pizza, or sushi. Well, I don't like the idea of raw fish to be honest, really. And I hear that like Japanese pizza and stuff and since there's like really the only cho other choice here, it's like isn't like I remember reading the, like, uh, review thing on it, and it's just, like, talking about their trip to Japan, and that, like, with the Japanese pizzas, they quite, it can be quite expensive, and they're kind of small or something. I can't remember. But I don't really, I mean, I like fish and all, like, like, it's all right and all, but sushi is raw fish, for crying out loud. I don't like the sounds of that. So, ah, screw it. No. Okay, we'll do it this way. La 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 Hmm, I wonder if it could be that? That? Yes, we have one in our neighborhood, you know. What? I don't know what you're talking about. You'll understand when we get there. We're gonna have a Japanese pizza, you know, speaking of which... Look at that moon up in the sky. Is this the place? Let's see here. Today's expense is 1,860 yen. I'm gonna check this every now and then. Holy crap, we spent quite a bit of yen. How much do this even add up to? No, by the end of all this, I am going to have to freaking Google 
how much it is in pounds and maybe dollars as well for some American viewers and and euros as well for European viewers. Yeah, might as well do that. And if there's and for like other type of money kind of thing, uh, I can't be asked because I don't really know which countries my viewers are from really. I mean, a lot of them are from the U.S., some from the U.K., there's some from various parts of Europe. There's even a few around Asia, but I don't know if they're, like, very frequent. Like, uh, I think it was, like, the most, like, I get from, like, the eastern side of the world seems to come from uh, uh, the Philippines, I think. Kind of random. I actually have a friend from the Philippines. Is this the place? I see, now I understand. Wow! We, we don't have to look at the sky the whole time. That's awesome. USA! So the Japanese pizza restaurant? Yes, we call it Tokonomiyaki in Japan. Okonomiyaki. Can you imagine me in Japan trying to pronounce everything? It's like, Okonomiyaki. Uh, just like, uh, can you write in Japanese or anything? Because you're, you're not speaking it very well. Nope. I can't write Japanese. It's like, oh well then. Uh, good thing that so a lot of people in Japan can speak some English as well. I mean, well, not everyone you encounter in Japan would obviously be able to speak English, but you're bound to eventually come across them. And I can just imagine, like, you're just tugging at people's shoulders around me. It's like, you speak Jap do you speak English? You speak English? And you're just like, how rude. You're just like, come on, man, I can't speak Japanese. And why did you come to Japan for? You should have learned at least the basics for crying out loud. Wheat flour is boiled in water, then mixed with cabbage or pork or whatever ingredients you like, and right on top of hot iron griddle. You know that baffles me. How is it possible to go to Japan without knowing any Japanese? How the hell do people manage? I mean, I know they could like, like have, like there'd be people there that would be able to translate for them and stuff, but still, it just feels like, how the hell would you be able to? I don't know. What would baffle me even more is if someone moved there without knowing any Japanese. It's just like, dude, are you freaking insane? That's a, not the smartest idea unless you know some Japanese. Wow. Some regions even put noodles inside. Here in Tokyo, you can get a regional variety called monja. Monja, whatever. But today we'll be eating the standard Okonomiyaki. Okay, sure. Anyway, let's put in our order. I think I'd like to try the special. Watch it, Acura, watch your manners. You're burping all over the place. No, that was you, you idiot. Okay, special. Yeah, it's got all kinds of toppings inside. Most restaurants have one, so if you're not sure what to get, it's the simplest thing. I see, then I'll have the special too. I have the stupid special, as Saddam says. Now we fry it up. Huh? You mean, this is self-service? Some restaurants are. Some will fry it up for you, but some let you fry it up yourself. Personally, I think this is more fun when you fry it up yourself. Wow. What if you're absolutely crap at it, though? Or if you just generally lazy, which is, I mean, other than, I mean, out of the variety, there's a variety of different reasons why someone would go to a restaurant. One of those reasons would in technically include being too lazy to make food yourself, you know. Okay, here we go. Can you imagine that? Just like, I want a Japanese pizza. Okay, here's the stuff, make it. It's like, hey, I came here because I'm too lazy to freaking cook and make food and stuff. Make it for me, damn it! Just like, no, make it yourself, you lazy bastard. Wow. Once the wheat 
Our mix is with the water, you mix it with the softened ingredients and it spreads out in a circle on the pan. And once one side fries up, you use this, uh, this utensil to flip it open. It's a hard skill to master. Yeah, I guess it does take some getting used to. I still can't get used to it, no matter how I try. You are it, Chan. You do mine. Okay, what about you? Me? I think I'd like to try on my own. Really? Well then, watch me first. Um, I guess it's time. I'll slip the spatula in between the pan and the ingredients. And as hard as you can, here! See, you just flip it over. I see. The trick is not to hesitate. Here, try it. Uh, hi! Slip the spatula underneath the Okonomiyaki. Then as hard as you can! Ah! Oh dear, that didn't work. It really got away from you. Don't worry about it, it just caved in a little, you just have to reshape it. I guess it really hard, is hard to get the hang of it. But it's definitely a lot of fun frying it up for yourselves. No, cooking can be enjoyable, but it's just... I don't cook. It's just like, whenever I cook, I'm just like, ah, oh, this isn't so bad. But then, whenever it's like, I gets down to... Oh, like cooking or anything like that when I'm not actually cooking at the time. It's like, what, what? I, I just can't be asked. It's just like, yeah, it could be enjoyable way to pass the time in a way for some reason. Because I don't know. And then it's like, no, I can't be asked to cook. And the funny thing is, half the time that I've actually cooked, I've actually made food that's actually fairly decent, you know? It's like, not like overly burnt or anything like that, I just cook it properly. Because unlike, uh, say my dad, for example, who usually frickin' forgets the frickin' thing is even on, just buggers off back into the living room on his frickin' games on Facebook, and forgets that the frickin' oven or whatever is on. Seriously, man, he's like a fire hazard. Sometimes he even buggers off out and leaves the, the gas on it. They're like, whoa, you stupid idiot. You think they're cooked now? Cooked through? I think so. Now we add sauce and mayonnaise and sprinkle on the uh, and katsu bushi. But, but I don't like mayonnaise. Just like a bunch of people are like, do what? You don't like mayonnaise? I don't. I don't know, it's just one of those things I just don't really like. Maybe it's the, like, like the smell of it and the look of it, I don't know. I know he has dried seaweed, Katsubushi is dried shaved fish. Okay, so, uh, you shave the fish and then you bung some dried seaweed on him. Okay. It really adds to the flavor. Yeah, nothing adds to the flavor like seaweed. Uh, I'll never understand that. I've tasted something that I think must have been seaweed one more. It's like, ew. At least it's a horrible aftertaste there. I think I read somewhere like it's one of those things that, that uh, actually helps with Japanese with their skin or something. I can't remember. It's just like... You know, you always see a lot of Japanese people with that perfect kind of skin. It's just like, how the hell do they do that? And then you just, and then it like read something about like it's because of the stuff they eat and stuff like that. And then they're like, so eating seaweed and all that would actually be good for your skin or something? I have no idea. Don't take my word for it, cause I don't even know if I'm even freaking remembering correctly. It's a necessity for Okonomiyaki. Wow. Seaweed has to be included for this to work. Yes, it's all done. This is... Uh... Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this here. So, would this be the mayonnaise? If so, that's a lot of mayonnaise. Ah, uh, let's see here. 
the green bits? Are the, is that the seaweed bits? Maybe it could even be part of the fish. I don't even know. I mean, uh... Sure, it looks edible and all that, but at the same time, it looks like something you'd... you'd like... Like someone just like trying to make food and then they just like, Ah, oh, this one's no good. Bung it against a wall or something. I don't know. Yes, this is Okamaneaki, the Japanese pizza. Okay, time to eat. Uh, wait, you mean we're going to eat it right off the pan? That's it. Varies from by restaurant, but generally speaking, you want to leave it on the pan so you're practically panting from the heat. What? I see. Anyway, itadakimas. Itadakimas. Ah. Hmm. Ah. Hot. 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 Hey, careful not to burn yourself. It really is hot coming right off the griddle. Griddle, whatever. It's hot as hell, but... How is it? Hmm, it's great. But the sauce smells so good, caking on the pan. It's got so many toppings inside it, but they're all so skillfully prepared, it's like nothing I've ever tasted. This isn't like pizza at all. Yeah, really, when you look at it, it doesn't really resemble a pizza, really, does it? I mean, a pizza would be much, like, more in the kind of, you know, just round, and, you know, perfectly round, but that one looks kind of all over the place. I don't know how to describe it. Phew, I'm stuffed. Okay. 1,200 yen for one Okamayaki, huh? Holy shit, that really is quite a bit of money. I can't remember the price, but that's probably over 10 pounds, right? I'm not entirely sure, though. I have no idea. I mean, like, on my list of stuff that I wanted for Christmas and stuff like that, I had to, like, some, some of the stuff was coming from, like, sites that only showed it in yen. So I was just like, okay, so how much is that in that? And just like, ah, oh, yes, 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 like, 23 quid, 43 quid, 43 quid, 46 quid. By the way, this is pounds. Just pointing out to any of you just like, what's a quid? It's a pound. It's what we usually call it, yeah. I always say that because I know that a lot of my viewers tend to be American, you know? The majority of them, you know? Which one of my ma I mean, who's my main viewers from the UK anyway? Anyways, let's get on with it. I wonder if it would have been cheaper if I hadn't gotten the special. So how much did that take up there? Uh, oh, we spent a shit ton today. Most of the freaking expenses have been from today. Seriously, dude, how much money did you bring with you anyway? I mean, that's not really been, like, explained very well, is it? It's just like, we just assume that he's got enough money to do whatever he wants here. That is within the realm of possibility that was given in the actual novel. Hey, Akira, you want to stop somewhere on the way home? Hmm, I don't think so. I have all my shopping done. What about you? Me? Uh, not especially. Ah, uh, that's it. I could use some money. Well, yeah, you just spend a lot of money in one day. I mean, how much was it again? 3,060 yen. I still don't know how much that would actually be, but I'm sure it's quite a bit. Let's go to McDonald's. I'm sure we've got enough money for that, haven't we? probably does. No. Actually, if he needs to take out money, he probably needs some more money. Why else would he want to get more money out? Unless he's just like, I want to have a lot of money at all times. Use some money. Is there a bank or somewhere I could make a withdrawal? A bank? I'm sorry, but all the banks are closed at this hour. Really? Even the ATMs? 
Most ETMs in Japan close at night too. It may be a crime prevention measure. I see. Ah, but the ATMs in Konbini are open 24 hours, so you might be able to make a withdrawal off your card from there. Really? Yes, by the way, do you have any traveler's checks? Oh, yeah, I don't have them with me, but why? Banks are about the only places you can cash in your traveler's checks, but the banks all close by 3 p.m. So if you want to do it, make sure you do it early. Ah, I see. Thanks, that should be okay. Anyway, do you think we can stop by the Konbini? So, banks close at 3 p.m. You know, it'd be completely useless for kids and, well, people, well, yeah, technically that yeah, would be kids. You know, kids that actually, like, have money from stuff like that. They have, like, an account and all that, check out money and stuff like that. They, well, I don't know, Japan's, uh... Uh, school time is much different, isn't it, technically? Probably. I imagine. You're in the UK from last time I checked. Well, when I was in school, anyway. It was, like, from around about, uh, we'd be in school around about 8 a.m. or so. Then it would technically start around maybe 9 a.m. I'm not entirely sure. I can't really remember. It's a little vague. And then school would end around about... Maybe hop us free. So yeah, if that were to be the case there, then they'd be like, "Ah oh, man, we gotta freaking have all this crap." But then again, they probably would. Well, no, throughout the week they might freaking want some money. They wouldn't just be like, "Let's wait for the weekend before we can get any money." Of course, is that okay, Akira? It's really hard to tell the difference between the freaking color pink and the color white in this. Sure. Thank goodness I was able to get some cash from the Konbini ATM. They have vending machines everywhere, but 24-hour ATMs are only in convenience stores. There are a lot fewer places that take credit cards than I expected. Especially in smaller restaurants, there are a lot of places you can't use them. Japan really is a mysterious country. Wait, is he saying like, uh... There are a lot of places that you can't use the card for. That's not really surprising. Or is it? I don't know. Like, I remember when I, like, had my card, I think... I, uh, where was it? I think it was... Well, it was in my own country this time around, so, yeah. And they wouldn't accept the card thing. They're just like, oh, no, you can't accept those cards. They're just like, why not, damn it? I don't have the money with me, because I don't go around carrying money. Heck, I don't even go around carrying my card. You know, it. I mean, any normal, usual person would probably be like, what the hell, dude, but I don't even freaking have my freaking card with me, ever. I just like, I like have my mother look after it, because I know if I kept it, it would get lost in my room somewhere. I mean, my family uses the card more than me. And you know what? I even freaking just let them. They ask for permission first, but I'm just like, oh, sure, whatever. I mean, any person who really gives a crap about their money be like, no, you pay me back if you're gonna do that. You pay me back right the fuck now. I mean, at this point, my family would owe me thousands. Seriously, imagine if I was very strict with stuff like that. I just like hand over the money now. As soon as damn possible. I want my money, damn it. But no. Nope. Go, go, Nippon, my first trip to Japan day free. That was a long night. Oh, hi, Ogos, I am a Oh, Ohio, you're up early. Yeah, I got up a little earlier, so I could think over where I want to go. You sounded a little tired, and you're like, Ohio, Ohio. I see, that's nice. I, I'm just freaking randomly reminded of Naiki whenever she's up in the morning, and she's just like still half, more than half asleep. 
huh? It sounds like you're getting the most out of our out of your days here in Japan. Yeah, of course, that's thanks to you and Acura. <laughs> when you say that it makes uh, it all feel worthwhile. Mm, say, where is Acura? Since she she must still be asleep. Oh, but if you wouldn't mind, could you try to wake her up? What? Me? Wake up Acura? But... It's nothing to worry about. I'm not telling you to go into her room. Just stand outside the door and call out to her until you get a response. Ah, I see. It's Acura. I have no idea what might happen to me if I go into her room while she's asleep. It might be, uh... In for a world of pain. Okay, I'll go wake her up. You would. Damn. Oh. Abandoned service senses are tingling. I think you can see where this is going. I wish I could just let her sleep, but we can't stay the day until Acura wakes up. You know, it's it's pretty obvious. Like, oh, go wake up Acura. It's like, oh, what could go wrong here? It's like, I wonder what would happen if I like walked in into the room oh, and Acura is sleeping. I said, like, oh, I wonder what could possibly happen waking up Acura. I'm pretty sure Acura's room is the first room on the second floor. That's it, the room with the open door. Hmm? I thought the door was supposed to be closed. Open door. What? Fan service. And by fan service, I mean. You viewers are probably at the same time, like, in you'll just be like, that ass. Say it! That ass! Huh? Uh, uh, uh... <laughs> How does this keep happening? First Makoto, now I catch Acura in a compromising situation. You know why that is? It's because it's by the Japanese. They had to include fan service. I mean, there's only two CGs like this. There was that one with Makoto, and there's this one with her right here. It's just like, uh-huh. Just stay cool, stay cool. Uh, 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 Ohio gives up and stuff. You, you didn't come downstairs, so she sent me to wake you up. But, but uh, I see you're already awake, so that's good. So anyway, I'll be waiting for you downstairs. Uh, come down when you're ready. God, how... M I mean, that's a very awkward situation right there, you know. But, I mean, why the hell would she just keep the door open anyway? When you get changed, surely, even if it is your own home, you should close the door, you know? Phew, now she should know it was just a misunderstand. Yeah! Ing or not? Ah, uh, peeping Tom pervert! I'm not, it's a misunderstanding. Makoto just asked me to come with pick you up. Shut the hell up, you can't save yourself now! Someone help! It's it's like worse than a toilet incident, she's throwing chairs at me! I wonder if Acura's still mad at me. The face kind of indicates so. <laughs> she's been quiet all through breakfast. Yep, she's still totally mad. Come on, Aki-chan, don't stay mad. It's your fault for not waking up on time, don't you think? Who's just... And I don't see how you can blame him when you were the one changing with the door, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's entirely your fault, so don't be mad at him, okay? Fine. Now, as a token of your restored friendship, won't you make the after meal coffee? Yes, ma'am. Shoo, that was close. Very good, Omakado. 
You don't have to thank me, I am the one who asked you to get her. That's true, but... Anyway, it's over now, so let's not bring it up again. Got it. Okay, here's your coffee. Here. Uh, arigato. Well, at any rate, I'm glad we could make... Mm hmm? This, this coffee is... What is this? It's full of salt! Did she put salt in it instead of sugar? I'm sure it was just an innocent... Hmm. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I guess it wasn't a mistake. Nothing, nothing at... In that case, I'll just have to... Huh? Gulp, 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 gulp. Even though he has the sound effects, I'll add to him. Uh, wow, that coffee show is great. Thanks. <laughs> that was salty as hell. Oh. Yeah, I imagine so. It is salt, after all. Luckily for me, I've never had an incident where I've, like, freaking had someone troll me and put freaking salt in coffee. And again, I don't really drink coffee. I did actually have a cup of coffee the other day, because I was, like, really tired. And it was just like, oh, give me a coffee. And it's like, oh, that's not so bad. Baka. Hmm? Give me your cup. Huh? Give it to me, come on! Uh... Come on, why do you do something like that? How am I supposed to stay mad at you? Acura? Oh wait, it's that moment again. Where he's like, Acura, Makoto, Acura, Makoto. Only it's, he's actually saying the line rather than in his mind. Here's another coffee, take it. No worry, there's nothing weird in this time. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Then drink it up, it'll get the taste out of your mouth. Yeah. Arigato. Anyway, let's decide where to go today. Well, we get to decide where to go today, but since I didn't, like, say, you guys choose the next location and stuff like that, I guess I'm gonna be choosing the next location then. You beers, you can choose the next location. That is if I'm remembering correctly. I think you get to go to four different locations in Tokyo before you end up going to a different area or something. So, yeah, you, you beers get to choose the last location in Tokyo, I guess. If there is, if I can't remember, to be honest. It's been a while. So, we've got, we've got Asakusa. They've got Ikibakukuro, <laughs> well, that was probably said wrong, and Shinjuku. Now I'm pretty sure I've been to that location before, I'm pretty sure I've been in that location before, and I'm not entirely sure about that location before. I remember, uh, where was Ginza again? Ginza, I think, uh, Ginza was that one, wasn't it, yeah. And Akibahara was that one. That's what I, I, I'm thinking correctly, right? I recognize the building there. So, I've been here before. Well, that was a random interruption there. Okay. So we got four different locations to choose from. Eyes closed. Damn it, I can never get it. Okay, it's closer to this one, so we're going to Ikibukukuro. Who's gonna be our guide? I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I don't think I've been to this place before. I think I'd like to go here. Oh, Ikibukuro, right? That means... Wait. Okay, I'll be showing you around. I thought it was gonna be Makoto for a second. Okay, we're going to Acura then. 
I don't recall this location. I don't recall choosing this location when I played through it. We'll head out after I clean up breakfast. Get your things ready and I'll be right there, okay? I think I chose... Uh, I can't remember what the hell the location was now. I remember one that had like a bunch of shrines and stuff. It was like traditional kind of old looking kind of Japan, you know? I remember a location like that, but... Didn't choose that one, obviously. Guys. Nikki Bukuro, huh? I wonder what kind of place it is. Me too, me too. I'm not sure if I've chose this location before. But I'll just say it right here. You guys, you, ch you get to choose the next location. Because if, if I don't say it now, then I'll end up recording the part where I choose the next location. Because, you know, I like, when I upload this part, I'll basically, it would on the same day be recording the next part, you know? So, you get the idea, if I would, like were to say it, like right where I was, when I got to the menu where I choose them, I wouldn't be able to just say, okay, you guys choose, because then, and I'd be recording the exact, usually exact same time as I'd be uploading it, so it wouldn't give it any time for someone to choose. So, there you have it. Anyways, I'll see you next time, bears. See you next time.